Can God change your life in the next 30 minutes? I believe you're watching right now because God has something special for you. Join me for Jewish Voice and you'll discover how Bible prophecy is coming to pass before our very eyes and why you need to stand with Israel. You can play a role in God's end time plan. Find out how on Jewish Voice. Well, Shalom and welcome to the program today. I am so glad you're with us. Listen, you are in for a treat. You really are. A dear friend is in the studio with me, Danya Greenberg, also known as the Bible lady, <laughs> <laughs> affectionately. And we have great stories to tell you, but I want to open with the scripture. And I Amen. want you to listen closely to this. This is from Romans chapter three. Listen to this now. What advantage is there of being Jewish or what benefit of circumcision much in every way. First of all, they were entrusted with the sayings of God. Think about that for a second. The Jewish people, the physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were entrusted with the words of God, with the scriptures of God. Jewish people moved by the Spirit, by the Ruach, were the ones that wrote yeah. the Bible for us. Beginning in Genesis through Revelation, you may ask, well, what about Acts? What about Luke? Right? Right. Maybe Hebrews. Well, we know that Hebrews was written to Jewish believers, but Danya, I believe that Acts, I believe that Luke was Jewish. I just, there's a lot of good <laughs> books out that prove that, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. The point is that the Jewish people were the ones that God entrusted to, to bring to the world yes. the revelation of his word, yes. to write down the word of God and preserve the word of God. That's an amazing thing, isn't it? It's the calling of God when he called a people to be his own. You know, he started with with Adam, to Noah, to Abraham, to Moses, and then through Yeshua. We can all come to a saving knowledge of Messiah. But none of that makes sense. That sequential, growing, expanding of the covenant of God that we believe in as believers in Yeshua Messiah it has no beginning and no end without the entire counsel of God. And it started 3,400 years ago when books like this one. This is my little Torah scroll that I show kids. Um, it's crowned with pomegranates and bells. That's what, that's what Jewish families do. And, and this is the way they would preserve the scrolls. This is one that I show the children. Um, it's just one sheet. So like we get to read the Bible in a whole book, but I want you to imagine the Jewish people. It's, it's easy to imagine like the ark going right with the two with the two tablets, but people don't realize that Jews had been literally carrying on their shoulders throughout their synagogues, week after week, year after year, generation after generation, the scrolls of God. Yeah. And this is one Look little piece that. of a scroll. And I bring this around to show kids because they don't get a chance to see it. This is what a Torah scroll, one sheet looks like. So imagine that's one sheet, that's one piece of animal skin. Look Has at that. that. And, it, and it's right. all it's all handwritten right. by a scribe. Right. Every letter is you perfect. See cool it is? And this is the the this is the sacred trust. That's right. That God gave to the Jewish people, not for the that's right. just for the people of Israel, but for the whole world, for you. That's right. And that's why we believe what we believe. Because the truths of God from thirty four hundred years ago, written line upon line, precept upon precept, have never, have not changed. So let me tell you what we believe. I just want you to be, I want to be clear about this for you viewers. We believe this is the inspired word of That's God, right. the authoritative word That's of exactly God. Right. That it is inspired by God, it's, that it's the textbook for life, that it is the God breathed That's right. word of God. That's right. That is authoritative for your life. That's right. We believe that. I, I truly do. And this is how your soul is nourished. Exactly. The more time you spend in your Bible, the closer you feel to God. It is um, the place where we run for comfort. It's the way that we discipline our children. It's the way that we learn about the nature of God. 
I mean, we don't often think about it, but, you know, our God's invisible. I mean, we recognize Yeshua. Thank God that he is, he, that God, you know, came to earth in the form of man, like literally embodied in the flesh and walked among us and taught us. But do you realize that there was 1,400 years of an invisible God that the Jewish people followed? They were waiting for Messiah. They were waiting for him. And so this is such an, an interesting, you know, um, translation we're going to kind of, you know, work through today because we're going to look at why being Jewish and, and studying the scripture has a little bit of a yeah. deeper meaning to it. So why is this important to you? Let me just tell you very quickly, the roots of your faith are Jewish. Amen. Through the Messiah, the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus, you've become a spiritual son or daughter That's of Abraham. Right. And this program is, is here because God wants you to reconnect with your heritage and your heritage, the roots of your faith are Jewish. And God's all about family. He is. He loves the idea of having one giant family tree where everybody's grafted in like it says in Romans. You know, Donnie, this book changed my life. Me too. 38 years ago, uh, I went to a Bible study and my life was never the same after that. What That's happened right. at that Bible study? I prayed a prayer because I felt the presence of God for the first time in my life and then I felt compelled, just drawn and to read the Word of God. I, I had right. never read it before, an appetite to read the Word of God. And I had to, I had to drive 100 miles to find a Bible. That's a different story. <laughs> but when I read it for the first time, I discovered that Jesus was Jewish, that all the apostles were Jewish. They never converted to another religion. Right. And I realized I had found my promised Messiah. And then I went back to my own scriptures, the Torah, the prophets, the writings, the Old Testament, and I discovered prophecy after prophecy after right. prophecy that revealed that Jesus, Yeshua, was my Messiah. But my that life has never been the same again. That it's absolutely true. When you find Messiah, everything changes. It's, there's a moment in time where it's like a switch goes off. You go, oh my gosh, that's him. And then everything, even the way you've seen your past, changes because you realize God, the yeah. invisible God, was there the whole time. It's a life-transforming book. We're going to talk more about it in just a moment. But I want to make you aware of our new Jewish Voice mobile app, by the way. It's easy to download, and it will provide you with up-to-date information about what's happening in Israel, about our ministry projects, and it really is easy. I download it. You can also view our television program. We have special reports right on the app, and it's, it's free. You just enter my JVMI in your app store, and then you download it onto your device, and I hope you'll do it today. Danya, I am so excited about this new Jewish Voice Bible, this Tree of Life Bible. Why is this different than any other Bible that people watching have? Well, the Tree of Life version is amazing because it was done by Jewish scholars and Christian scholars together. And Jewish Voice, like this came about because like you're my rabbi and we studied the Bible together and I fell in love with the Bible because of you. And then 32 PhDs came together and a whole community. And, you just can't imagine what God did to bring this to pass. This really is a Jewish voice translation. Yeah, you know what I wrote in this? That this <laughs> is the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Yeah, that amen. the Bible prophesied That's Jewish right. people coming back to God in the last days. That's right. And now have taken up the mantle to put together a translation from the Hebraic roots. That's right. Of the faith. It's amazing. It is. It's, it, the Bible is Israel's best export. For 3,400 years, Jewish people have yeah. been carrying the Torah on their shoulders and bringing the word of God to the world. This, I'm talking about bringing back the Bible into, it, into its original context. That's right. This is a tool that I want to get into your That's hands. Right. I really do. I want to sow it into your life as you sow into this ministry and enable us to reach Jewish people in need. God wants to use you. This is a partnership, a divine partnership. And so I want to get this to you right now. Here's how to get it. As you are learning today, the Bible truly is God's gift to us and a constant reminder of the eternal nature of His Word. If you've been looking for a version of the Bible that will connect you to your Jewish roots and accurately translate the original Hebrew and Greek languages, the Jewish Voice Bible is what you've been looking for. 
This special edition is only available through this ministry and is not sold in bookstores. Jonathan wants to make his favorite version of the Bible available to you today for a one-time gift of $100 or more. Your generous gift will go towards providing medical supplies and treatment to Jewish tribes still living in Africa. Jonathan knows helping these Jewish people is a long-term project and would like to present you with a very special opportunity as you make an ongoing commitment and become a new monthly partner with a gift of just $50 or more. You'll not only receive one Jewish voice Bible, but Jonathan wants to thank you for your monthly support by including a second Bible for you to share with a loved one. For your commitment of ongoing monthly support of just $50 or more, we'll provide a life-altering surgery for someone who is in desperate need of medical care today. Your continued monthly support is vital in providing the ongoing care and supplies for those struggling to survive in some of the most remote places in the world. Your gift today is changing lives, meeting the physical needs of individuals who urgently require our help, and making it possible to share the love of Jesus in a very real and personal way. We're treating hundreds of kids today, sick kids that need our help. I'm talking about kids that may die without the medicines and medical care that we've, we're providing for them and their parents completely free of charge. Uh, an earache. We, see, we take it for granted we can treat with antibiotics. Those antibiotics aren't available to these kids. That's why we're here. And we're not just saving eardrums, we're saving lives. Please help us. This exclusive offer is only available here and for a limited time. So don't miss your chance to receive the Jewish Voice Bible for your one-time gift of $100 or more or receive two Jewish Voice Bibles for your commitment of ongoing monthly support of just $50 or more. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv or you can simply text JVMI to 474747. You can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Remember, the need is urgent. It's crucial that these people receive desperately needed medical attention as soon as possible. Please call or go online now to make your contribution. Thank you in advance for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference in so many lives through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Donya Greenberg. I'm so glad you're with us today. If you're just tuning in, Donya Greenberg is with me and we're having a blast. Amen. We're having a blast because we're talking about the Word of God. Amen. And we're talking about a special translation, Danya, that goes back to the Hebraic roots. Yeah. Now, why is that so important? Well, I, the Hebraic roots um, can be seen so easily if we just go to the very beginning of the New Covenant. So would you mind turning there with me? Because I would love to yeah, read this Because it really, to you. it affects the way we read. It is totally it? What, what are we looking at? the way you see it. We're going to look at, oh, it's one of your favorite places. I just want to make a point and see if you can Gr figure grab out Grab your Bible what real quick. Don't, don't miss this or just turn on <laughs> your device. Go on to you version. That's or right. Whatever. We're on you version and Bible whatever. Gateway. Okay, where are we going? The oh, there's great everywhere. pictures in here, man. Um, okay. I know. Isn't it beautiful? So we're we're looking at Matthew. So Matthew okay. is the first of um, the four gospels, oh, right? Man, Matthew, I love Mark, Matthew. Luke, and John. Thank you, Matthew. And and, and the for this. amazing part about that is that is that I want to just remind you that Mark was written first, right? And then Mark after Mark came Matthew. And then many, 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 many years later came Luke and Acts, right? And then John was put, you know, between Luke and Acts. So here in Matthew, it's the beginning of the, the New Testament, but it's not the first one written, okay? okay. But it is the one that's, that sounds the most Jewish. So when you hear it in okay. this translation, you'll so notice it. Tell me what you notice is different than you might not read in other what, translations. What chapter are we in? Right at number one. Okay. Verse one, one. Oh. Everybody can get there. That's Easy where it all peasy. starts. Okay. The book of the genealogy of Yeshua, Hamashiach ben David, ben Avraham. Abraham fathered Isaac. Isaac fathered Jacob. Jacob fathered Judah and his brothers. Judah fathered Perez and Zerah by Timar. Perez fathered Hezron. Am I getting my point across? Yeah. What word do you see in there that you usually don't see in Bibles? Fathered, 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 fathered. Yeah, very and good. And that's the coolest thing about this Bible is that if you begin to understand that he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that yeah. the God of Israel is very serious about family. So it, it sure beats begot. Yeah. Begot Begatter, doesn't mean begot. care. Yeah, fathering. 
fathering is yeah. such an important thing because it is. how can you talk about the son coming and then negate the father? Because clearly the relationship between the father and the son is what God showed us yeah. in sending Yeshua. Danya, I get it. I, I've got to tell you also, though, because it's it, I'm getting like flashbacks <laughs> right now. Matthew was the first book that I read uh, when, mm, I, I when the Lord touched something inside of yeah. me. I now know that I was born again. Uh, but I didn't know that then. And the first thing I read was the lineage, and I saw right in the beginning Abraham and David in the lineage. And I couldn't figure out what Abraham and David were doing in the Christian Bible. You see, I thought that the, the New Testament was the book of the Christians, had nothing to do with the Jewish people. And just seeing Abraham and David was a life-changing moment for me. You wonder why the genealogies are in there. I'll tell you why. One reason is for Jewish people like me that discovered that Jesus was Jewish through his genealogy. It is also another really important point, and I'm, I just cannot believe you just went there because that's just such a God thing. One of the most important changes for me, I began recognizing the weight of Scripture differently. And what I mean by that is that like we remember how like people will put Jesus's words, the words of Yeshua in red. Yes. Do you realize I would love to do a Bible where we put the words of God the Father um, in a nice, beautiful, bright color? Because honestly, when you start to realize when he actually spoke and who he actually spoke to, you read the stories totally different. And I went back and read um, the attributes of God, like when he's forgiven, like the children of Israel for the golden calf incident. And when he describes his character, his unchanging character, I started to change the lens of how I saw God. And all the Old Testament began to come alive to me because the invisible God, in other words, I didn't limit all my understanding about God into only what Jesus said, only what Yeshua yeah. says, you know, but see the vast hugeness of the Father. This is so important. This is a great, great point. I'm getting so excited, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to jump out of my chair. There is something happening right now. Yeah. Where the, uh, the revelation of who the Father is. Exactly. Is being restored. Exactly. And you know what? The enemy is trying, the enemy's trying to subvert what God wants to do, which is reveal himself. Yeah. The Son came to proclaim the Father. He taught what the Father yeah. said. He was about his Father's business. He leads us to the Father. Our Father. Yeah. And so when you, when you get it, that God has been trying to reveal himself to mankind again and again. So when you go back to when God speaks, when he says these 13 attributes, if I could just read this, JB. Yeah, I'm I just, while you're finding it, Right no here. one comes to the Father except, except through, through the Son. That's right. What's the purpose of the Son? To lead people back to, to the, Father. the Father. Listen, I love Jesus. I, he's Yeshua. He's my Messiah. He's my Savior. He's my Lord. But there's something that God wants to reveal to his people, and that's the Father, a revelation and relationship with the Father. Danya, you have a scripture to share. I do. Go ahead. Um, Adonai, Adonai, this is God saying to Moses, this is what he said, who he says he is. Not what other people say God is. Who does God say that he is? The Father says this about himself. Adonai, Adonai, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth, showing mercy to a thousand generations, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, yet by no means leaving the guilty unpunished, but bringing the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children to the third and fourth generation. The mercy of God goes on and on and on, and how I'm righteous in my daily life will affect four generations. Uh and thousands more. We are a part of a family tree that's so much bigger than us. I'm so glad for that, and I'm so glad for his word. You know, you may have a whole bunch of translations and they're all good. This one is different. The tree of life is different, and that's why we have adopted this as our Jewish voice, official Jewish voice Bible, and it is gorgeous. It's unlike any Bible that I think anyone watching has ever read, unless you have another version of this. This one is hot off the press, by the yes, way. Yes, it is. It's the first one done by Jewish believers from Genesis all the way to Revelation. And, and we have a bunch of special notes. There's great, um, there, there's just there's great. There's Jewish uh, prayers in there. If you ever want to learn Messiah's in here, prayer art. in Hebrew, the artwork is ridiculous. Is that the picture of Jonah and the whale? It is. Do you love it? Because I there's phlegm. It. 
Not I love joking. It. Is that Jewish or I what? I love it. If you're going to show your kids pictures in the Bible and get them you know, in the I, Word. I want people to understand something. We're we're not a ministry that sells products. It's not who we are as a ministry. We're not a product driven ministry. We're a cause driven ministry. We've right. been raised up to bring the gospel to the Jew first in some of the remotest areas of the world. In the 90s throughout the former Soviet Union, when the doors opened, thousands of Jews, Jewish people responded to the gospel. And then the Lord opened up doors now in Africa, in Ethiopia, in Zimbabwe. There's other places I can't even talk about where there's Muslim refugees that are really Jewish and they're now being ministered to through our partnership together. We're providing clean water for Jewish kids that have, haven't previously had access to clean water. That's what our partnership is about. I want to sow this Bible into your life as you sow into this ministry and enable us to reach Jewish people and their neighbors with medical care, dental care, eye care, all free of charge, but most importantly, the gospel. And we'll sow this into your life. Maybe you can become a monthly supporter. That would be incredible. We'll, we'll, we'll put your name We'll emboss your name on the Bible if you become a monthly partner with us and you'll be providing clean water to Jewish kids in need. That's what our partnership is accomplishing and most importantly, the gospel. We'll be right back. As you are learning today, the Bible truly is God's gift to us and a constant reminder of the eternal nature of His Word. If you've been looking for a version of the Bible that will connect you to your Jewish roots and accurately translate the original Hebrew and Greek languages, the Jewish Voice Bible is what you've been looking for. This special edition is only available through this ministry and is not sold in bookstores. Jonathan wants to make his favorite version of the Bible available to you today for a one-time gift of $100 or more. Your generous gift will go towards providing medical supplies and treatment to Jewish tribes still living in Africa. Jonathan knows helping these Jewish people is a long-term project and would like to present you with a very special opportunity as you make an ongoing commitment and become a new monthly partner with a gift of just $50 or more. You'll not only receive one Jewish voice Bible, but Jonathan wants to thank you for your monthly support by including a second Bible for you to share with a loved one. For your commitment of ongoing monthly support of just $50 or more, we'll provide a life-altering surgery for someone who is in desperate need of medical care today. Your continued monthly support is vital in providing the ongoing care and supplies for those struggling to survive in some of the most remote places in the world. Your gift today is changing lives, meeting the physical needs of individuals who urgently require our help, and making it possible to share the love of Jesus in a very real and personal way. We're treating hundreds of kids today, sick kids that need our help. I'm talking about kids that may die without the medicines and medical care that we've, we're providing for them and their parents completely free of charge, uh, an earache. We, see, we take it for granted we can treat with antibiotics. Those antibiotics aren't available to these kids. That's why we're here. And we're not just saving eardrums, we're saving lives. Please help us. This exclusive offer is only available here and for a limited time. So don't miss your chance to receive the Jewish Voice Bible for your one-time gift of $100 or more or receive two Jewish Voice Bibles for your commitment of ongoing monthly support of just $50 or more. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv or you can simply text JVMI to 474747. You can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Remember, the need is urgent. It's crucial that these people receive desperately needed medical attention as soon as possible. Please call or go online now to make your contribution. Thank you in advance for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference in so many lives through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Donya Greenberg. I really, really want to get this Bible into your hands. I want you to start reading it. I want you to connect with the Hebraic roots of your faith. It really will change you. It's different than anything you've ever read before. It's going to minister to you. 
in a whole new way. And if you'll partner with us as a monthly partner, we're going to we're going to uh, emboss your name on it. I'm going to uh, uh, write a little thank you in the Bible. Danya, this really this is unlike any other Bible. It really is. I came to fall in love with the Jewish people, and the Jewish people are the ones who brought us the word. And like you know, our picture of Ruth in here, you know, where she says, you know, your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. I mean, that's. That's literally what we believe when we believe the Bible. And this Bible reconnects the Jewish roots of the faith to what we know about Messiah Yeshua. And all of a sudden, things get back, put back into order and life begins to make sense because the God of Israel is my daddy too. Don, you do realize it's been almost 30 years since you and your husband walked into my office in Rochester, New York? Amen. And God has done a real miracle and has brought this TLV translation to the world. I just want to encourage you please take time to learn about what Jewish Voice does and to become a partner with this ministry. This Bible is here in part because this was my rabbi and he taught me how to love the Bible. And the Bible started changing my life from a jail cell to 30 years saved with my brand new grandbaby on the way. It's a good life. <laughs> God is so good. If you have questions, if you have prayer needs, remember we're here for you. You can log on to our website. It's Jewish Voice, one word, dot TV, Jewish Voice dot TV. God loves you, and so do we. I want to thank my special guest, Danya Greenberg, for joining us today. And as we close our program, I want to remind you, and I do this every week, Psalm 122.6 says, Pray mm. for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. So pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And I close by praying over you and speaking life, wholeness, restoration, provision to you and to your family. Thank you, God. In the name of Yeshua. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We love you. We'll see you again soon. Shalom. Don't miss the Jewish Voice Israel Tour. You'll walk the ancient streets where Yeshua walked. You'll learn from Jonathan Burnus as he shares teachings at historic sites like the Old City of Jerusalem and other inspiring locations throughout Israel. You'll also enjoy your choice of four or five star accommodations, make new friends, savor some of Israel's most delectable foods, and experience memorable adventures, such as being baptized in the River Jordan or renewing your wedding vows aboard a boat on the Sea of Galilee. Here's a special message from Jonathan. I want to personally invite you to join me and Jewish Voice staff in Israel. This experience will change your life and you'll never read the Bible the same again. For more information, call 800-299-9374 or go to jewishvoice.tv slash Israel. Again, 800-299-9374 or jewishvoice.tv slash Israel. I want to make you aware of our new Jewish Voice mobile app, by the way. It's easy to download and it's, it's free. You just enter my JVMI in your app store and then you download it onto your device and I hope you'll do it today.